86 to 113. <laughs> Thank you, that's all I have to say. You see that? Did you doubt him? You did, you did, I'm calling you out. You, watching this, you doubted LeBron James Cavaliers. Um, I'm not saying the Cleveland Cavaliers because it's just the LeBrons. They're the LeBrons, honestly, they are the Cleveland LeBrons. And honestly, this last game, the teammates, they decided to play a game of peekaboo. Today, they were out. <laughs> Today, they were out and they actually scored. They tried, they came to play. And I was surprised, I said, where have you been? Come out, come out wherever you are and they answer the call. <laughs> amazing! That is amazing. Now, today we're gonna talk about the embarrassing, the just, just terrible, whooping the Celtics got from the Cavaliers, I shout out, amen. <laughs> because you know what? I've been tired of all the Celtics slander while I've been gone. I have been doing some stuff. And you know, a lot of stuff has happened. Celtics went up 2-0. Celtics went up 2-0, guys. What is that? First of all, let me just tell you, anybody who's on the Cleveland Cavaliers who may be watching this video, let me tell you this. Besides LeBron James, the leader, CEO of the team, um, you guys are useless. You were a hindrance. That's all you were. You were a hindrance. And I honestly felt like we should take them out of the playoffs and put a team in that actually wants to win. Because I was watching them play and I said, let me, let me watch to find one guy that really wants to be here. I was searching. Couldn't find anybody. Looked high and low. Couldn't find anyone. And it irked me because I said, you know what? I know a lot of people that would want to be here playing. And y'all over here playing around. Wouldn't the Celtics just go too well? He dropped a 40 point triple double. That's not just an everyday occurrence, but he dropped a 40 point triple double. That's what it took for them. And they still lost. Honestly, I mean, I don't know what else to say. If I was the coach, if I was to, well, <laughs> let me get this straight. LeBron's the coach, so I forgot that. Let me just swerve away from that point. Anyways, um, the Cleveland Cavaliers finally got their mojo back. They're back in the groove. Or did I say Cleveland Cavaliers? Sorry, the Cleveland LeBrons, they're back in their groove, okay? You know, before they went out the tunnel, LeBron sat there and just grilled them. I know he did. That's the only way. That's the only one they're afraid of. Remember, earlier just this season, he cleared out half the team. They're scared of LeBron, a.k.a. Le GM. <laughs> He's the general manager, so they're scared of him. So they whipped right into shape. This was an especially tragic loss for the Celtics, which any loss for the Celtics is a win for me, okay? And I've heard some disturbing comments, guys. Honestly, I've heard some from these, I feel like they're younger Lakers fans, and I'm young. I mean, I have a birthday coming up July 24th, save the date, but I have a birthday coming up, and I'm still young though, you know? And you guys are saying stuff like, the Celtics rivalry is kind of dead, and like, you know, I'm not gonna hop on that. That really disappointed me. Like it, it, it socked me in the chest. You know, like I was winded for a second I, after I read the comment. I was like, "Oh my gosh, is this what's happening now? Are we rooting for the Celtics? That's not acceptable. Really, that really got me down in the dumps. But I'm gonna go. That's another topic. I'm gonna save that for another video because I, I will get emotional." <laughs> I will get emotional on that, so we're gonna we're gonna skip to another video on that. But anyways, yeah, I'm always rooting against the Celtics. And um, LeBron, thank you. <laughs> 86 to 113. <laughs> thank you. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Um, <laughs> now I understand a lot of Celtics fans are gonna say, "Well, you're not even in the playoffs, so you can't be laughing." I can't, cause I'm I am. <laughs> I am laughing, but no, I'm, I'll give you guys a little credit. You know, you're you're doing, it. you know, nobody expected you to get this far. I definitely didn't. I counted you out from day one. I was praying on your downfall. I was your biggest hater. I really don't want you to succeed in anything you do. But um, you know, you guys are here, so congratulations. You're about to lose. Um, when the Celtics went up 2-0, you know, they were very confident. You know, I saw a pep in their step. I saw, you know, a twinkle in their eye, and I said. <laughs> 
They just don't know. They don't. Playoff LeBron, a.k.a. Thanos, had a 40-point triple-double, and that didn't scare y'all at all. Like, yeah, they lost. But all he needs is one more teammate to show up. And it's over. Kyle Korver finally was dropping three-point bombs like he does. Kevin Love was in it. Everybody stepped up. You know, people were chipping in, finally. And I'm going to tell you this, Cavaliers, that's all that is asked of you. Just score. That's it. Put the ball in the hoop. And the thing is, you're getting paid millions to do that. Give me millions of dollars. I'll be in the gym training every day and night. Just put the ball through the hoop. Rebound the ball. Play defense. That, honestly, let me backtrack. Let's just forget the offense. How about y'all start to play defense? Can we do that as a team? I'm asking you, Cavaliers. Can we play defense? Because a lot of times, like I said, it feels like y'all don't even want to be there. You just don't care. I'm not gonna get started on J.R. J. Smith because that's another, that's another video. I'm just telling you guys, um, with this win, I was very happy. It is 2-1 right now. Guys, like I said, I'm just gonna, hold on, let me get my glasses because I need to boast right now, hold on. Guys, look. These are broken. I broke them in a previous video doing the most, but um, I'm gonna still wear them. Um, guys, my predictions are never wrong. They're just not, and I predicted the Cavaliers, so what's gonna happen? Like, really, think about it. I've never been wrong. And I've said the Cavaliers, so why do you guys still have hope that the Celtics, I get that you're a fan, I get it. But honestly, people that aren't fans, y'all should know. Guys. Playoff LeBron, have you heard of him? He's here, he's in the building, and his teammates are finally answering the call. So, Celtics, it was only a matter of time before they woke up. You know guys, honestly, really, the Celtics have had an impressive run without their two superstars. Impressive. However, there's been a narrative that, am I going over time? I'm just rambling. But um, there's been a narrative that, you know, the Celtics are just, you know, this bummy team, scrappy team that just scrapped together. It's full of first round picks, you know, early first round picks. You know, they're not they're just a scrappy, random bunch of people. But I get it, they are inexperienced. I definitely get that. And they've made it this far. Brad Stevens is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So give credit where credit's due, man. That, that coach is something else. If it wasn't for him, none of these Celtics would ever even be getting this glory right now. They wouldn't. So I can applaud you. You know, you guys made it this far, which is, that is just unbelievable. But it ends here. It does. It does. Um, Cavaliers are more experienced. Um, all they need is for their uh, players to wake up out of hibernation, and they did for this game. Who knows if they're gonna wake up the next game? But we need them to. We need them to. So that's all I have to say about this game, y'all. What did you think, though? Comment down below your opinion, like, on this series. What has been going on? You tell me, because I'm lost. I don't know what's been going on. LeBron, get your teammates. So comment down below and see. Tell me what's been going on, okay? Fill me in. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Click right here to see my last video. It was a banger. And click right here to see my before the NBA videos. I have been working on another one, guys. I have summer classes, a summer class that I'm doing, but I'm also working on a new before the NBA just because y'all been requesting it. I'm not about to deprive you, really. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you. And it's a good one. It's one you wouldn't expect. So anyways, I gotta go. Subscribe, join Splash Squad. I'll see y'all later.